Tonight we check in with Crime Stoppers on three crimes caught on camera. They need your help identifying the suspects. Aloha. Here are this week's cases that we need help in solving. The first case is interference with a public transit operator that happened in the Ala Moana and Queen Street area on Saturday, January 9, 2021 at approximately 9.03 p.m. An unknown male assaulted an OTS bus driver and fled. He's been described as an unknown male with a husky build, dark hair, and brown complexion. He was wearing a white t-shirt with blueprints, a camouflage hat, and black shorts. And our second case is a burglary that happened in the Haleiwa area on Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020, at approximately 6.15 a.m., an unknown male entered the complainant's property in the Haleiwa area and took the complainant's dirt bike and fled. Surveillance video shows the unknown male exiting a Texaco gas station on the complainant's dirt bike. He's been described as an unknown male with a medium build. He was wearing a black long sleeve shirt, black shorts, and a white shirt as a mask. And our third case is a robbery that happened at the Alamona Shopping Center on January 23rd, 2021, at approximately 4.20 p.m., an unknown male entered the famous footwear store and selected a pair of shoes. He then placed his old shoes into the box and attempted to leave with the new shoes without paying for them. A store employee tried to stop him from fleeing, but the male used physical force against him and fled. The male has been described as an unknown Polynesian male in his 30s, approximately 5 feet 2 inches to 5 feet 4 inches tall. He had a medium build, medium complexion. He was bald with brown eyes. He was wearing a black t-shirt, khaki shorts, and puma shoes. If you have any information regarding these cases that we talked about tonight, please contact us at Crime Stoppers at 955-8300 or via the website at www.honolulucrimestoppers.org or via the P3 Tips app available on your smartphone or tablet. All three ways you'd be 100% anonymous, you'd be eligible for up to $1,000.